Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I'm going to look at how to create an update query uh, that will look at information on a form. This is the last session I'm going to do on a contact tracing database. All the rest are in the same playlist as this one will be. So what I've done is I've added this extra field, test use or test use. So that's in this contacts table, if I just get into there. So I just added a field, a number field. And then I've created a, a second table there, test kits, I just opened that. And I've set this up. Um, I've set this up so it's got um, a calculated field in here. So that's a calculated field. If I put in there 10, it, it knocks 10 off. That's what it's set up for. So I'll just put that back to zero. That message came up there because there was a conflict because I had, I've got a query running off the back of this. And what I've added is a macro to do this automatically. So what I'm going to do is just go into design on this table and show you what I've done there. So the calculated field is this one. And then you can see the calculation at the bottom there. So kits in stock minus kit, kits used, which is these two. That's all that is. So I'll just close that off. So I want that table to be updated by any tests that are used on this form. So there's the a person who's got a positive test, so he must have used a test. So if I put a one test in there, and then when I click away from that, if I just tab off that, it's going to run an update query. Yes. I'm going to update one record. Yes. And if I go into the table, can see it's done that let's took one off so there's now hundred four thousand nine hundred ninety nine so that's what I'm going to redo so you can see how I've done that so first off I'll need to delete this so I'll go back into design get rid of that so that's gone and I'll get rid of the query the update query that I did where that worked so that's gone and I'll get rid of the macro that I did which is an update macro Got rid of all three things. So first of all, I need to create a field for this for these tests. And on the property sheet, control source is going to be the kits used. And then I just need to change this label to kits used. Oops. Kits used. Oh. Tests used. I'll just sh shift that on top of there. Save the form. Have a look. Okay, so that works all right. I'll come back down into design. Now I need to name this. So if I go to all, uh, I'll get myself to the top of this list. So the name, not the label name, I'm just going to call this um, tests. Tests. So that's going to be called tests is now I can refer to that now in a query so what I'm going to do now is create an update query so I'll go to create query design and I want an update query just get rid of these for a second so the table I want is this one and the field I want to update is kits kits used so I want to update it so I'm going to go shift f2 which will zoom that up. So what do I want to update? I want to update kits used. I could have used the expression builder um, plus the kits used from the form. So basically I need to go forms and then I have to refer to the forms that I want. So it's going to be FRM contact tracing square bracket close and then the field is tests that's what I've called it so that's what I, when you type anything in tests it wants to add it on to kits used and then kits remaining will tell you what you've got left based on what was in stock so just to make sure there's no typos there contact tracing 
that's why you should use the expression builder really so you can just select things as opposed to typing it so if I save this now as QRY update okay just close that for a minute so there's your update query and then on the form you've got some figures here I'll just change that to 500 press tab and then if I run the update it's telling me I'm going to run an update query I'm going to update one row and then if I go into the you can see it's um, taken the kits off or has it so I'm just going to put this back to zero so it's now back at 5000 and if I go and change this to 500 so when I type 500 in there I just need to click onto a different cell not tab onto a new record so different cell and now if I run this query yes yes and then if I open the table test kits there's a the 500 spent I'll just turn the sound off on this so whichever field you're in so if I'm on the next record and go to the next one whichever one I'm in so if I put one in this field and then click away and then run the query it should just add one to it if I have a look at test kits it's just added one to it so it's only updating that field which is what I want because I'm going to put this I'm going to put a macro on this field that will just run this when you click off it we'll just update that field so now if I go back into this form just um, label this up um, kits used just shove that on top of there for a minute save that now I want to create a macro that's going to attach itself to this field so create macro and it's just going to be open query not open form, open query the query is going to be update, I hope, no it's not going to be update, it's going to be QRY update that one, that can all stay as it is so I'll save this macro as MCR update ok close the macro back to the form so I need to be into properties now and event is going to be an event so so on lost focus so when it's clicked off I want it to do update update to save that right now so this should let's test this out so if I get myself uh, Let's go forward a bit until one we haven't done. So it's just got one kit used. So let's say they use a thousand kits for some weird reason. When I click off that record, so if I click off that record, it's going to run the update query. One row, yes. So if I go to test kits, now let's put a thousand on there, fifteen hundred. Close that down. So if I go into the new record, it's not used any kits there. So if I do five hundred and just click away from the five hundred into a different cell, yes, yes. Open test kits. Now it's two thousand and one. So it's, it is updating correctly. Now the problem I might have here is if I want to let's go into a new record so they haven't got any kits so if I put another thousand there so when I click away anywhere on this form that's going to be uh, updated but what happens if I press tab yes 
yes open it still did it that's okay so as long as it does it for the one you're on and not um, the next one you go to so you just got to check otherwise you'd have to go back into properties and change it to uh, a different category instead of lost focus something else on after update or whatever but basically that's all I want to talk about in this little session and that's the end of this contact tracing database series so that is creating an update query um, that's updating input from this form to populate this table and telling you you've got your kitchen menu. So this then would have to be a report um, giving you some information or you maybe put it onto a, onto the front screen so you know how many kits you've got or a main menu maybe. You maybe just attach it, put it there, embed it there so you've got an actual running total on your main menu and have main menu opening up every time when you open the database. But that's like I said, that's all I want to talk about for now. So I'll see you on the next one.